Fiscal year 21, CPO selectees.
Senior Chief, Boyk, uh, Senior Chief Boykins will now deliver the invocation. Bow your heads and join me in prayer. Almighty Creator, source of life and truth, today we come to you in humble obedience to celebrate both a joyous and solemn occasion. Father God, we come to you with deep gratitude and reverence as we celebrate the painting ceremony in honor of our newly selected Chief Petty Officers. Lord, your hand has guided them and their families throughout their naval and Marine Corps careers, and today as we reflect on such an enormous achievement, we first come to you seeking continued blessings. God, as we celebrate this momentous occasion, may we remember that which is commonly known but must always be stated, that freedom is in fact never free and has been and continues to be paid for by both men and women who wear our nation's cloth in every clime and place. As we remember the experiences and moments we've shared with these new Chief Petty Officers, may we also remember those who have made the ultimate sacrifice so that we may be here today. May we keep in our hearts all of the men and women who are employed this very hour so that we may meet and enjoy this most hallowed occasion. Lord, may you protect us with the sword of truth and the shield of righteousness. We ask all these things in your most holy name. Amen.
See, our process is built on the foundation of fellowship and networking. We spend a lot of time building relationships, sharing stories, mentoring, and training our newly selected Chief Petty Officers. So for a process founded on personal relationships and camaraderie, the worst possible scenario is that we can't physically get together. But we're Chiefs, and I believe in my heart that if you asked us to put a person on the moon, we'd mobilize the network within the mess, and we'd figure it out. So the initiation committee looked old Murphy in the eye, his friend Rona too, and said bring it on. Zoom PT, training by teams, electronic charges, online social events are just a few of the new processes that became commonplace during this season. Our young goats helped us old goats figure out the difference between Microsoft Teams, Zoom, Google Meets, and even showed us how to unmute our mics. <laughs> What I'm saying is that our mess found a way to communicate, mentor, and train, despite the physical limitations. Would the Chiefs have participated in making the ha this season happen? Please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause to show our appreciation. and those they represent dedicated to forging our next generation of Chief Petty Officers. To the families of our new selects, thank you for supporting them through the season. We know the hours were long, but they'll pay dividends in the future. To the Chiefs that are about to don the anchors, remember that your promotion is the organization's investment in itself. Wear those anchors well. And never forget that what they think of you, they think of all of us. Congratulations and welcome to the mess. Thank you, Command Master Chief Fletcher. In the career progression of an enlisted leader, becoming a Chief Petty Officer is the most profound step a sailor will take. Each Chief Petty Officer selectee that undergoes initiation has visibly demonstrated skills and abilities that are marked them best and fully qualified, ready for this great leap into the mess. From our list of leader development framework, we know that much of our education, training, practice, and feedback has been predominantly focused on self-improvement, on individual achievement, and acquiring of technical skills. Confident, yet humble leaders, relentlessly dedicated to continuous improvement of their teams and the, themselves. Chief Chief Chris Holdsworth will now read the Chief Petty Officer Pledge. I am a Chief Petty Officer in the United States Navy. I serve my country and her people with pride and honor. I seek no special favors. I make things happen and I do the best I can do. I am charged with a leadership role like no other in the world. I develop junior officers and mold my sailors. I acknowledge full responsibility for the actions of my sailors because these sailors are the seas of future Chief Petty Officers. I live by the Navy's four values of honor, courage, and commitment. I set the example. I establish the standards of performance. My sailors are the students, and I am their teacher. I guide and influence the lives of these young men and women. In the final analysis, I will determine the quality of these sailors. They look up to me because I treat them with dignity and respect. Because they need a leader, I am there for them. After all, I am a Chief Petty Officer in the United States Navy. At this time, Chief Harris will provide you with a historical perspective of the gold bell finger. The bell 
finger is the emblem of the rank of Chief Petty Officer in the United States Navy. Attached to the anchor is a length of chain and the letters USN. To the novice, the anchor, chain, and letters simply identify an individual as a Chief Petty Officer of the United States Navy. But to a chief, these have a more noble and glorious meaning. The U stands for unity, which reminds us of the cooperation, maintaining harmony, and continuity of the purpose in action. The S stands for service, which reminds us of service to our God, our country, and our, fe our fellow men. The N stands for navigation, which reminds us to keep ourselves in a true course so that we may walk upright before God and man in our transaction with all mankind, but especially to our fellow chiefs. The chain is a symbolic of flexibility and reminds us of the chain of life that we forge day by day. The link by link, and may it be forged with honor, morality, and virtue. Finally, the anchor is the emblematic of the hope and glory of the fulfillment of all God's promises to our souls. The golden or precious anchor by which we must keep steadfast in faith and encouragement and courage to abide in our proper station amidst the storm of temptation, affliction, and persecution. Chief Petty Officer is one of the most important training events in a sailor's naval career. The prospective Chief Petty Officer must learn to trust the Chief. The prospective Chief sponsors guide them through their transition. As mentors, they bear an awesome responsibility and a golden opportunity to mold these sailors into Chief Petty Officers, prepared to lead sailors in the world's greatest Navy. Sponsors must be 100% committed to their charges, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week from the beginning of the training process. This responsibility does not end today. It will mature into a lifelong relationship to trust, of trust, friendship, and respect. Sponsors are required to prepare prospective Chief Petty Officers mentally and physically for the challenges they will encounter, both as Chief Petty Officer selectees and, more importantly, as Chief Petty Officers. Sponsors willingly accept and serve in a very demanding and difficult capacity, not just over the past six weeks, but more measurably period of time. They accept these roles and execute the inherent responsibilities with exceptional skill and devotion. Sponsors are the link in transferring the wisdom of the entire Chief's mess to their selectees. This training program is about professional development, teamwork and resources, and most of all, it's about trust. Sponsors, please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask that you please join in a round of applause for these men and women who have guided these Chief Petty Officers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Attention to crocking. Two, prospective Chief Petty Officers. Subject, authority to assume the title and wear the uniform of a Chief Petty Officer. Reference, Milford's Man 1420-060. Per reference A, you are hereby authorized to assume the title and wear the uniform of a Chief Petty Officer effective immediately. Your appointment carries with it the obligation that you exercise increased authority and willingness to accept greater responsibility. Occupying now a position of greater authority, you must strive with renewed dedication toward the valued ideal of service with honor. Congratulations. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Chief Petty Officer Select. Boatswain's Bay. Post, the side boys. I G, side boys. Okay, just cover. Two. 
Carla Bellamy, will now read the combination cover. cover holds a special significance in the Chiefs community. Before the Chiefs were first authorized to wear the khaki uniform, they wore dungarees. The easiest way to distinguish the Chief was by the fact that he wore a combination cover instead of the white hat. It was this old symbol that the Chief's authority and position was associated with. We keep this part of our heritage alive today as we recognize it each year at our pennant ceremonies. <laughs> this is the moment we call them Chief. As is long standing tradition, you will witness the ranking of each new chief into the Chief Petty Officer's Mess. Thank you, Senior Chief. Please remain seated and hold your applause until after all chief selectees have been pinned. First Sergeant Abbott, Gunnery Sergeant Amador, and Chief Select Benitez. Presenting First Sergeant Abbott's anchors will be Senior Chief Hartley and Senior Chief Shelton. being presented by her sponsor, Chief Ramirez and Senior Chief Baskin. Presenting Gunnery Sergeant Omnor's anchors will be Senior Chief Federoff and Senior Chief Palacio. Presented by his sponsor, Chief McCart, Chief Smith. Pinning on Chief Select Jennifer Benitez's anchors will be her spouse, Benny, daughter Alana, and sons Andre and Gavin. Cover is being placed by her sponsor. 
down to Chief Walker and Chief Mason. Sound two bells. Genuine Chief, United States Marine Corps, arriving. <laughs> Sound two bells. <laughs> Gunny Sergeant Armador, accepted Genuine Chief, United States Marine Corps, arriving. Sound two bells. Chief Petty Officer Benitez, United States Navy, arriving. Chief Select Bowers, Chief Select Rice, Chief Select Christensen. Chief Select Joshua Bowers Anchors will be his spouse, Amanda, son, Sean, and Mash Chief Kudatuka. His cover is being placed by his sponsor, Chief Brown. Pinning on Chief Select Clifford Price's anchors will be his sponsors, Senior Chief Morris and Chief Kasun. His cover is being placed by his sponsors, Chief Kasun and C. Chief Marks. Pinning on Chief Select Zachariah Christensen's anchors will be his spouse, Kayla, daughter, Emma, and son, Joshua.
been placed by his sponsors, Chief Dara and Chief Renko. Sound two bells. Chief Pedros of Bowers, United States Navy, arriving. Sound two bells. Chief Pedros of Rice, United States Navy, arriving. Sound two bells. Chief Petty Officer Christensen, United States Navy, arriving. Chief Select French, Chief Select Greenlee, and Chief Select Hall. Chief Select John French's anchors will be his wife Sydney, daughter Sadie, and son Wyatt. His cover is being placed by his sponsor, Chief Keen and Chief Garland. Depending on Chief Select, Samantha Greenlee, Greenlee's anchors will be our mentor, Senior Chief Dykeman. Cover is being placed by her sponsor, Chief Squires, and Chief Nempai. Depending on Chief Select, Carlos Hall anchors will be his sponsors, Senior Chief Bosa and Chief Brown. Cover is 
being, his, his cover is being placed by his sponsors, Chief Brown and Chief Boza. <laughs> Sound two bells. Chief Petty Officer French, United States Navy, arriving. Sound two bells. Chief Petty Officer Greenlee, United States Navy, arriving. Sound two bells. Chief Petty Officer Hall, United States Navy, arriving. Chief Select Harden, Chief Select Lemon, and Chief Select Stavros. On Chief Select Jared Harden, Jared Harden's anchors will be his spouse Michelle, daughters Hannah and Kylie, and son Jared. Cover is being placed by his sponsor, Senior Chief Eastman. Penny on Chief Select Leilani Lemons anchors will be her spouse, Joe daughter Jaden, and son Joshua. Her cover is being placed by her sponsors, Chief Pimentel and Chief Cabello. Pinning <clears throat> on Chief Select Travis Davros' anchors will be his spouse, Kasha, 
daughter Ilani, and mentor Senior Chief Jakes. being placed by his sponsors, Chief Lawrence and Chief Bernstein. Down two bells. Chief Petty Officer Harden, United States Navy, arriving. Sound two bells. Chief Petty Officer Lemon, United States Navy, arriving. Two bells. Chief Petty Officer Stavros, United States Navy, arriving. Chief Select Stock, Gunnery Sergeant Trainer, and Chief Select Protocol. Chief Select Lori Stock's anchors will be his spouse, Ontario, and son, Sebastian. being placed by his sponsor, Chief Morris and Chief Kasumi. <laughs> Presenting Gunnery Sergeant Frank Trenier's anchors, will be his spouse, Sierra.
Award is being presented by his sponsors, Chief Roman and Chief George. placed by his sponsor, Senior Chief Valdez and Chief Ramirez. Down two bells. <coughs> Chief Petty Officer Stop, United States Navy, arriving. <coughs> Sound two bells. <coughs> Gunnery Sergeant Trenier, accepted genuine chief, United States Marine Corps, arriving. Two bells. <coughs> Chief Petty Officer Bodanoff, United States Navy, arriving. <coughs> Chief Select Williams. Chief Select Wilson. Sheree Williams Anchors will be her boyfriend, Marcus. being placed by her sponsor, Chief Price. Getting on Chief Select Nicole Wilson's anchors will be her boyfriend Ryan and Chief Ramirez. Yeah. 
Team Chief Pagan, and Chief Ramirez. Sound two bells. Chief Petty Officer Williams, United States Navy, arriving. Sound two bells. Chief Petty Officer Wilson, United States Navy, arriving. There are no greater words of influence to a Chief Petty Officer than what is written in the Chief Petty Officer Creed. Since the inception of the Creed, Chief Petty Officers have consistently reflected on these words, and in doing so, ensured expectations remain aligned across the worldwide Chief Mess. The Creed is a living document, an ever-evolving one as well. In the 1990s, the Chief Petty Officer Creed was updated to reflect the changes in demographics that had occurred within the Navy over the previous 20 years. The creed was amended to reflect our Navy's current values in order to sharpen the ideals contained within and emphasize its significance in guiding Chief Petty Officers every day. Initiating training, culminating with a capstone event, is symbolic of the strength of the Chief Petty Officer, for strength is required to face daily challenges with grace and with passion. Anchors by experience, every day a Chief Petty Officer must earn his or her anchors by experience, performance, and testing. Never forgetting, not even for a second, the incredible privilege it is to wear the cloth of our nation and serve our Navy as Chief Petty Officers. Chief Petty Officers humbly face and conquer adversity by living firmly by the high ideals forged to the creed. A compass guiding all Chief Petty Officers to true north, the creed captures and aligns expectations of all who are honor of calling themselves Chief. All Chiefs, Past and present, please rise and cover.
have joined an exclusive fellowship. And as in all fellowship, you have a special responsibility to your comrades, even as they have a special responsibility to you. This is why we, in the United States Navy, may maintain with pride our feelings of accomplishment once we have attained the position of Chief Petty Officer. Your responsibilities and privileges do not appear in print. They have no official standing. They cannot be referred to by name, number, nor file. They have existed for over 100 years because chiefs before you are free to accept responsibility beyond the call for print assignment. It is not required. They can become the fountain of wisdom, the ambassador of goodwill, the authority of personal relations, as well as the technical application. As the chief in the household, as the chief of the household of grace in and out of the Navy, you are the chief. The exalted position you have achieved, and the word exalted is used advisedly, is because of the service, character, and performance of the chiefs that dwell before you. Well, it shall only exist as long as you and your fellow chiefs maintain these standards. It was our intention that you never forget this day. It was our intention to test you, to try you, and to accept you. Your performance has assured us that you will wear the hat with the same pride and confidence in arms before you. We deeply and sincerely take pleasure in clasping your hand and accepting you as Chief Petty Officer of the United States Navy. Thank you, Chief Mess. Chief Petty Officers, uncover and please be seated. Thank you to all the committee members and to the chiefs for making this year's chief initiation a great success. Months of planning went into this process well before the chief results were ever announced in November. We had tremendous support from all levels of the chain of command throughout this process. Thank you to everyone involved. At this time, will all guests please rise for the benediction given by Senior Chief Boykin and remain standing for the playing of Infant Way and the Marine Hands. Please join me once more in prayer. May we close the ceremony in a hymn known all too well by those of the sea services. Eternal Father strong to save, whose arm hath bound the restless wave, who bids the mighty ocean deep, its own appointed limits keep. O oh, hear us when we cry to thee, for those in peril on the sea. Father God, as we come to a close today, we cannot be but humbled by your presence, your blessings abundant, and your forgiveness everlasting. Over this ceremony, we have seen and heard of your work in shaping the clay of that which we call our lives. God, continue to mold and shape each of us much the same way you have molded these fine chief petty officers into the leaders they are and the leaders they will become. God, if I may be so selfish, I would ask a special blessing on our great chief petty officer mess. It is refreshing to know that through your grace, you will provide many more men and women who are ready to carry the weight of those precious gold bound anchors day in and day out, regardless of how heavy they may be. And Lord, they are heavy. God, I ask a special blessing on the United States Marine Corps and the United States Navy, the world's greatest naval fighting force. And may you, as the ultimate pilot, continue to navigate us through the rocks and shoals that we have become all too accustomed to. Continue to humble us and refine us so that we may remember that your will shall be done in all things. Provide that sound rudder guidance that you always have and finally, may you continue to bless these United States of America and grant all leaders the wisdom and humility to lead this nation. Semper Fidelis, Semper Fortis, and in your most holy name, amen.
some technical difficulties. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Camp Lejeune's area's newest chief petty officers. 